These are brush and ink drawings, not pen and ink drawings, brush and ink drawings. I absolutely fell in love with ink. I've been wanting to do some ink drawings for years and I couldn't find a vehicle, I couldn't find a concept that fit it, and these fell right into it. So, and I really, really enjoyed doing them. I wish I could do more, I might do more. I don't know. They're tedious, they take some time. Uh, people think they're pen and ink, but they're not. The old guy still has some hands on him, you know, but if you look closely, there, there's a lot of pretty wavy lines in there, you know. And then, uh, again, let's go to, yeah, here, go over here. So again, these are the, the newest ones. And then recently, when the Helter Skelter was actually there, should be, let's go down to this one. So uh, you can see where they've been broken up in the borders. And I had to darken the background to make them stand out a little bit more, not so pastel. Uh, and then this is when they got really Helter Skelter. Where where the buildings are, here, are upside down. This is one of the few buildings that are coming right at you. Uh, and then here's an upside down one here. So you can, you can actually turn this painting any way you want to. It wouldn't make much difference. Now let's go back to uh, some of the older ones. You get in the cars too? Yeah, great car. Now, is that your Carmen Gia? No, that's Tom Jones who got, got killed. Oh. Yeah. Yes, yeah, beautiful Carmen Gia. And he had you make this panel? No, no. We, this is from the drawings. It's, they, they printed it from the drawings. And then it's got a, a, an adhesive background. That's great. And they just peel it off and, and stick it on there, yeah. This is a good little detail right here. Yeah, that's from, uh, I think that's from that drawing. I'm not sure which one it's from. But then the, these are all the aftermaths here. Actually, these paintings here. And uh, it's got all those little bricks that drove me nuts painting. I had to get in here and paint every one of these. But you have to do it. And uh, so these are uh, 07. 07, yeah. Yeah, get that one. Like that one. Looks like a dump, but like a... It does, doesn't it? Uh -huh. City dump. Mm -hmm. That's, I like that one there a lot. It's darker, like there's a there's an area behind it that's lower that the light's hitting, but it's not hitting. It's here. like the graveyard. Yeah, kind of. All the wires. Uh, the, the big one in the middle here. What's this one? No, this one over here. That's still part of the aftermath. Uh, just uh, more monochromatic. That's all. I just wanted to do that. This is the one. This is, uh, I think the, uh, I think this was the second of the aftermath. And I, I really started off a lot differently. You won't see areas like this anymore. That was very early underpainting. And then again, painting these bricks took forever. Just tedious, tedious. But I really liked that painting a lot. It has a good size to it, I think. Uh, I don't know. That, yeah, six feet by right? five and a half feet by six feet. That's actually my my studio exploded. There's uh, the easel. There's the bowls I used to mix paint. There's an exploded plate left over, and then it's all glazed red. And when I did it, first of all, you have to paint the whole thing and then, and then put the glaze over it. And when I did it, it was way too dark. And I had to go back and just almost repaint everything and then put the glaze back in it again. And then 
These are a little older back here. These are from Southern Dinners. These two paintings right here from Southern Dinners uh, about the elegance and the violence of the South. Distorted plates, distorted, uh, what is this? Sweetmeat tray. In fact, if you can find a sweetmeat tray that looks like that, I think it's worth $100,000 or something like that. Yeah. I got it out of a magazine, yeah, mm -hmm. out of a book. Uh, this was the innards that came after the first explosions, and they were about interior explosions. And then this, this painting is actually the transition from the innards to southern dinners. And here, I was, there's the sweet meat tree again, same thing. Same object. Uh, I love doing that painting. I, I, I like that painting a lot still. And then we're back to, uh, let's see, I think this is probably 91 or 92, somewhere in here. 91, yeah. The Ship of Fools, which I've used a lot. I've used the Ship of Fools quite a few times. The Ship of Fools is, a, again, a metaphor for me for romance. Full-blown, crazy, stupid romance, you know, and then with the uh, curtains on either side of it. Uh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> this is a, an aftermath painting. Yeah. A friend of mine, Al Souza, came over and saw it, and he said, oh, look. New York and New Jersey, you know. So it does kind of look like that, yeah. That's what I was kind of thinking about like that. And these, these paint, well, this one especially. I had been to Italy a, a, a couple of times, a few times, and all those houses had the, what do you call them, tiles on them. And so I did a kind, of a, 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 a kind of a modern version of a Roman villa. But while I was in Rome, I saw this terrazzo sidewalk. And it, it probably was the only real visual stimulus I came back with for Rome, although I saw many wonderful things. So they, they started being a little bit more colorful here, kind of like the sidewalks in Rome. And, and, and Romans love their pink marble. They just love that pink marble. So that's about pretty much it. Yeah. The, big, the big triptych over here again, uh, the Aftermath series. Yeah, and this one, uh, actually, yeah. So this is, in a way, like a large pool of water or oil. It could be oil. And that's when I first started doing kind of the reflections in, in the pool. And all these have, yeah, all of them have some kind of reflection in them right there. And the same thing over here. This looks more like battery acid or something. Uh, I do a lot of triptychs. I like them. They uh, keep things from being the frozen moment. There's uh, movement, sequential imagery. Uh, and I really enjoy doing it. And that's about it for the show. Where are we going to end this? Oh, the front room. Do these pants make my butt look big? And then the, these three are very recent uh, tondos. Blue, blue ink, which people think is a, uh, what do you call it? Uh, blue blue print. Print. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and then the black ink and the color. I uh, really like doing those too. They were, they were a lot of fun. You get the big layer on there, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, I haven't seen them with plexiglass. I think they look really good. And that kind of brings us up to date.
I want to go, you know, you want to go, eh, eh, eh. That's all, folks. <laughs>